Hello everybody and welcome to vlog number five. What I wanted to talk about is the past, the present, and the future. Is there actually a correlation between the past, the present, and the future? A lot of us look at the past with a nostalgia. Now nostalgia can be good, nostalgia can be bad. However, when we focus on the past, when we focus on the things that we want to have again, for instance, or that we don't ever want to happen again. It leaves us in a position of paralysis in the present. And how are we going to enjoy that? How are we supposed to enjoy that? To give you, to give you, an, ex to give you an example, I myself experienced it today. That's why I want to talk about this. Hey, Christopher. Hey, Alyssa. Hey, Lauren. Hey, Riddick Bo. We got Riddick Bo on, the champ. That's awesome. Thank you, Riddick. So the past, the present, and the future is what we're talking about. And it's nostalgia. Nostalgia can take you back, but it can also paralyze your present. So when, when, I, when I think about it, I think about way back to 1982. And I'm going to be very vulnerable here. I'm going to share with you. When my brother and I were in the accident, um, my brother passed away. I lived. I flew through the windshield. But I kept thinking to myself, what? hey, Steve, I kept thinking to myself, what if my eyes were open? If my eyes were open, could I have saved my brother's life? And I tortured myself with that for years. And any of you, a lot of you are watching know the story, but a lot of you are also going to know that I tortured myself. And I tortured myself through high school. And I tortured, hey, Frank, and I tortured myself through college because if my eyes were open, would my brother still be alive? Now, it may sound ridiculous. Hey, Lisa. But then again, you look at, so it can't, it's not just bad things, but it's also good things. So I think about when my children were born, uh, you know, in 1999, 2001, and 2003, three beautiful daughters born. And then I watched them grow up, and I think about the past, and I said, I wish, I wish they were young again. Well, that's not really fair, because they are who they are today, so why not enjoy that? And, it, and again, this isn't a science. This isn't something that's easy. It's actually very difficult. But even thinking back on the good things, you know, nostalgia, uh, you know, you, you, you smell something, you see something, and it brings it back to your childhood or it brings you back to college, and you say to yourself, I wish I could be a teenager again because things were so simple. I didn't have any responsibility. Or, you know, I wish I was in college again so I can go to class and afterwards I can go out and I can party with my friends. Or, you know, people look back at the mistakes they made. Did they invest their money right? Did they make wrong decisions? And, and they think about that today. And they paralyze themselves and they put themselves in this prison. And for what reason? If you look at the world today, 50% of the population takes medication because of depression, because of the past. And then you have people taking medication because of anxiety over the future. And the only way we can get around that, and it is not easy, I am not preaching that this is easy. What I am preaching to you is that it is necessary for your happiness. It's necessary for you to move forward in a way that you can truly enjoy your life. So look at what you have today. I mean, on Saturday, we were talking about gratitude. We were talking about saying thank you. Well, thank your past. You know, go back and visit your past. Thank your past. Thank your past for where you are today. But focus on this. As many bad memories as you had, absolutely. You're still going to have bad memories in the future. If you accept that, then you're not going to be afraid of the future. You're not going to be anxious about the future. In terms of the good things, and a lot of us do focus on the good, and I like that. You look back and you say, I wish I can have that again. I wish I can do that again. Well, you're alive right now. So why not create more memories? Why not create better memories? Why not focus on what is in front of you right now? And understand that you can have an even better future. Now, having a better future and thinking about that, why not, even, why not just have a better present? The right now, where we are, at this moment, as I'm talking to you, I'm being vulnerable. I feel better already because I got it off my chest. Today, I had an incident where I was subconsciously thinking about something. And I, I was at work, and I ran home to get something. I forgot. My wife said to me, what, what's wrong? And I said, nothing's wrong. But then I got in my car, and I realized, wow, there is something wrong. And I brought that thought to my frontal cortex, and I immediately called someone. And I said, let's focus on something because 
I want to stay in the present. I don't want to, I don't want to remain in the past. I don't want to be a prisoner of the past. And that changed my whole day. It changed the way it was because then I started focusing on the present now. And that's why I'm talking about this to you right now. Hey, Howard, how are you? So the past, a lot has happened to all of us in the past, good and bad. But we have to remember, if we want something, if we want something that's so precious, then we have to focus on right now. You want a different, you want a different lifestyle, you want a different job, you want to, don't focus on the mistakes you made. I mean, you know, I look at I look at my career and I say to myself, you know, when I was going through my very tough point in life, you know, 2003 and 2010, that was the apex of my career. I mean, the most fun, the most entrepreneurial, the most successful. Hey Kim, how are you? The most successful, but then I realized, you know what? I can make that better and I'm going to make it better because that is who I've become by going through and struggling with this, the, the, the decisions I made in my life. But don't beat yourself up. Don't be a prisoner by beating yourself up for anything that you did in the past. You must enjoy the present because if you're enjoying the present, you know you're going to have somewhat of a wonderful future. Because if you're focusing on the present, you're focusing on, you're going to make sure you're doing the things. Now, I'm not saying never to go back to the past because I, I, will, I will never forget it was, it was like yesterday. And I think I said this in a Facebook Live uh, last summer. But last summer, I was watching a show, show on Hallmark. And you can judge me. I love the Hallmark channel. It's very positive. But I remember the matriarch of this family said, the past is a great place to visit. It's a horrible place to live. And it truly is. If you're living in the past, what are you doing today? If you're living in the past, where is your mindset? Your mindset isn't focused on the moment. It's not focused on your family, your friends, everything you're looking to build, everything that you're trying to amplify your life with. You're back there. You don't belong there. And even with the good stuff, like I said, the nostalgia, uh, you know, there's a Will Smith song I loved. I think I, I can't remember what year it came out. I think my I think uh, my sister Elise is on this live. Uh, she'll know Will Smith "Summertime," and he said, "You know, the 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 smell the smell of the grill can spark up nostalgia. That's bringing you to the past. I know when I smell a grill, I think about when I was younger and I was with my family, and you know, have, and why not just create that with your family and create that now? Make it make make nostalgia now in the present and in the moment. William, how are you? So." That is what hit me today. And when I got home, I knew that this was what I want to talk to you about. It's something I did write in my book as well, but I never really focused on it this way. 1991, thank you. Um, and you know, I, I, remember, I remember that one line out of that song. So, so many people are crawled up in a ball. Just like, just like you know, today for instance, when I, when I had that little episode and I was thinking and I was, I was being nostalgic about the past and something was truly bothering my subconscious mind, I could have crawled up in a ball. I could have said, you know what, game over. I'm not going to enjoy the rest of this day. But instead, I took action on it. I said, okay, you know what, I'm going to put the past where it belongs. I'm going to get my mindset right. I'm going to talk to who I have to talk to and then move forward. And now I'm focusing on this day and I'm sharing this experience with you because I want you to know I'm not talking to you some like motivational guru who's telling you don't ever think about the past. Don't. That's not what I'm telling you. What I'm telling you is, is you, if I, if I have the power to make that transformation like that, so do you. So when you find yourself focusing on that negativity towards the past or when you find yourself wanting to relive the past because it was such good times remember you have today I don't hey Tim how are you buddy I don't care how old you are 30 40 50 60 70 focus on this moment right now start to create the new memories so you can start to create the future that you want you cannot write the next chapter of your life until you close the book on the past so with that, I want you to focus on today, elevate others, 
and I look forward to speaking to you guys tonight. Uh, tomorrow, excuse me. Tim, my brother, so happy to have you jump on. So I want to thank you all. Ba-bam. Have a wonderful evening, and I'll be speaking to you the same time tomorrow night.